Learning virtual assistants is quite challenging, especially if you have little or no online skills. There is just too much things to learn, and that is why it is easy to get overwhelmed and end up not learning anything at all. And that is why in this video, I'm going to share with you a simple strategy that you can follow to start learning virtual assistants without getting overwhelmed and even if you have no online skills at all. This is going to be like a checklist of items that you are going to follow with a timeline that you are going to have a specific timeline. And between this time and this time, you are going to learn everything you would need to become a virtual assistant. And the first thing that you are going to do is set aside one week set aside one entire week to just understanding what is virtual assistant and what virtual assistants do. You don't have to have any goal in mind. The goal is just to understand virtual assistants. So just set one week aside and watch random videos on YouTube from different creators about a different topic about virtual assistant. The goal is not to do something specific. It's just to know different things, different pieces of knowledge about virtual assistants, because this is going to help you when you start doing actionable things. Okay, the next thing after you spend a week learning about virtual assistants is find a piece of paper and a pen. Don't skip this, this is very important. Take a piece of paper and just a pen and do a research. Just take a piece of paper and do a research. Internet research itself is a skill. So don't ask me to tell you what skills you should offer to virtual assistant, what, you, what skills you should offer as a virtual assistant. Instead, do a research on YouTube and Google and ask ChatGPT what are the top services that a virtual assistant offer and write down a list of at least 20, 15 to 20 services that a virtual assistant offer spend some time doing the research this is the first item in your checklist write down a list of 15 to 20 services that virtual assistant offer it doesn't have to be something that you are going to offer to client but just understand the top 20 services that virtual assistant offer when you do this you have this list on one page the next thing you should do is which is the next item in your checklist is go to the next page and start picking the services that you want to start offering to client and look at each service that you have written down. Each one, look at it and understand what it is. What do you need to learn in order to do this service? Can you do it? Do you have any background in it? How easy will it be for you to learn specifically? Based on this criteria, pick at least eight to 10 services that you want to start offering to client. Remember, you have at least 20 services here. You go to the next page and you write down a list of 8 to 10 services that you want to start offering to client out of the research that you did. This is the next item in your checklist. And when you do this, you are going to have a clear structure and a clear direction of where you are going. So we have a list of 8 or 10 services that you want to offer to client. The next thing you shall do is open each one page and write one service. You open one page and you write maybe data entry here. You open another service, you write maybe calendar management. You open another page and you write email management. You do this with each page. Each one page, you write it down, just a blank page. And when you do this, the next thing that you need to do is create a timeline. Create a timeline on the specific time that you need to learn each service or each skill. Let's start with maybe data entry is the past service that you learn, that you write here. Allocate maybe two weeks into learning data entry. Okay, you are going to start learning from this date to this date. What are all the things that you need to learn in order to be good at data entry? This is the next research that you did. Each one page that you write one service, do a research and write down the list of tools or the list of items that you need to learn in order to be good at that service. If you write down data entry, you need to learn Google Sheet, Microsoft Excel, Google Doc, maybe downloading and uploading files from Google Drive, things like that. So do a research and write down what you need to learn on each service. When you do this, you are going to have a much clearer direction on where you are going. You do this with each of the services that you choose to start operating to client. And you create a timeline, maybe two weeks for each service. You want to spend two weeks learning all of the things under this service. When you do this, you have clear direction. The next thing that you should do is start putting in the time. Start going through each one, learning everything that you have written down, practicing. By the end of each timeline, 
you have the confidence that you learn that thing. And if someone offer you a job to do that thing, you can do it. Okay, the next step after you learn these skills, you learn these services, is package yourself. It might take one week, it might take two weeks, but learn how to package yourself right. You can create a portfolio on, in Canva, you can create a personal website, you can create an account on Upwork, on Fiverr, on freelancer.com. This is something that you can dedicate time, dedicate time into learning how to package yourself right. There are many videos on YouTube that can teach you how to do, how to create a portfolio in Canva, how to create an account on Upwork, Fiverr, freelancer.com. So anything that you need to do in order to package yourself, there are tutorials. So you just dedicate time into doing this, into packaging yourself right. And the next thing after you package yourself right is learn how to write effective proposals and job hunting. Learn about job hunting and writing effective proposal. This is very important because if you don't know how to look for jobs the right way, where to look, how to look for jobs the right way, and how to write effective proposals, you are not going to get hired. So spend enough time also into learning how to write an effective proposals on freelancing platforms, how to write an effective proposals in cold outreach, how to look for jobs even where is the best place for you as a beginner offering specific services, where is the best place for you to find a client? Remember, research itself is a skill. And if you don't know how to do an internet research, you are probably not going to survive as a virtual assistant. So spend all the time you need into doing this research, learning about it and understanding everything and be good at it. And the moment you come to this stage, you, you learn about effective proposal writing and you learn about job hunting and effective job hunting. The next step is just get into the real world. Just put yourself out there and start practicing everything. If you learn how to find clients on freelancing platforms, get out there to the freelancing platforms and start practicing. If you learn about cold outreach, finding potential client maybe on social media and direct outreach, start doing that. That is the only way to be good by doing the actual thing. So get your feet dirty, get your hands dirty and start doing the actual thing in the real world. And the main thing that you shall keep in mind is you are going to improve every day. If you keep that in your mind, then that is the key to getting to being professional. You start with what you learn, you start where you can, and you keep improving every day. Over time, you are going to be the professional that you admire. But if you wait until you become professional to get out into the real world, you are never going to get there. And if you want to learn more about some of the top services that virtual assistant offer, you can check out this next video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.